Hi guys, welcome back to Alfred Prepping. In today's video, I've just gone for a ramble in the woods and I'll have a bit of a talk and a bit of a rant to what's going on in the world today. And today, the world's a funny old place, especially with this virus that's going about. Uh, we won't mention it, because if you do, you get demonetized. But yeah, but it's it's funny how people are reacting to it. When it first came first came on the scene, um, people were like, "Oh, it's just a flu. It's just a flu. There's nothing to worry about. We'll uh, we'll all be all right. It'll pass. It'll pass. It'll pass." Which fair enough. It could have could have quite easily gone by, and nothing would have happened. But when things started to get a bit more serious, and more people were dying, and realised how infectious it was, how asymptomatic people can spread it. You know, you can have it for two days or two weeks and not know you've got it and what have you. But um, things start to get serious, you start to become aware. And people, at first, were becoming aware thinking it's just the flu. It's just the flu, it doesn't matter, you know, it's going to pass us by. Which I wish it did, to be honest with you. But it's not the case. So, uh, before we got locked down and all the all the things got put into place, you know, washing your hands, social distance and all that. Uh, and for, it was at the time we had the, um, oh, just change this over guys. We had the uh, toilet paper, paper shortages, blah, 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 shortages, and also paracetamol um, was coming out of stock. Anyway, so I went, I mean, I had plenty of my preps anyway, but I thought, I'll just get some extras while I'm out and about. Anyway, I went to one of our local supermarkets and they're empty, they're sold out. All they had, sorry, 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 they sold out the cheap stuff. All they had in was the more expensive brands like Nurofen and stuff like that. So you're talking a couple of quid for a pack. A pack of, um, pack of paracetamol. Anyway, so I stood there thinking, oh, an hour, should I get it? Should I get it? So yeah, I thought I'd get it anyway. Next thing I know, I've had uh, a couple of people come up next to me. And at the time, the shop assistant was there, uh, just restocking a few items. And they went up, this, these people went up to her and said, have you got uh, any cheap paracetamol? And the store clerk said, no, 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 we haven't got any left. We've just got what's on the shelf. And obviously they just asked why. And she goes, oh, it's because of this, this virus is going about. And the first thing out their mouth was, you have to excuse my language, but it's bullshit. It's all bullshit, this is. I don't know what people are getting excited over. It's all bullshit. It doesn't matter. It's, not, it's nothing. It's just a flu. And I just thought to myself, how ignorant can certain people be in the world? You know? They don't think... They don't see the bigger picture. They don't. They, these are the type of people that get up, watch this morning, and just... Uh, just um, just go about their daily lives doing their own stuff not really caring or being aware of what's going on in the world which is frustrating because a bit of education makes all the difference for people but what happens is people just like saying just want to leave their own selfish lives insular lives they lead they don't see what's going on in the world just like again guys um and it's frustrating to be honest with you because you just think to yourself, these are the people that are going to spread it, you know. But anyway, I digress. So that was just before the lockdown we had here in the UK. And I just thought, it's ridiculous. And I thought, what those people said is going to be um, across the board. And I was wrong. It wasn't across the board. Because when I go out now, when I have to go out, unfortunately, there are certain things I need to get, like fresh fruit and veg and stuff like that. Um, some people are trying to social distance trying to do their bit which is great people wear masks gloves washing their hands i see it on a regular basis but what i also see is it's selfish insular people not giving a monkeys about other people's health other people's lives and it's it's shocking i mean i've been to the supermarket myself where i've seen um people come right up next to me and take stuff off the shelf so don't keep the two meters apart they just go up they grab their stuff and they go off and i'm just thinking what's the point in these decent people that are social distancing, you know, doing their bit, washing their hands, you know, trying to keep themselves themselves safe and their family members safe and other people safe. Yet you get these idiots that just think, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And you just think to yourself, oh, come on, man, pull it together. 
you know, where's that, where's that British spirit? You know, but no. But these same people will clap to support the NHS. These people that don't give a monkeys about anybody else will stand at the doorstep, bang pots and pans, and clap and support the NHS, which is, which is good. You know, you should do that. But if you're not going to stick to social distancing rules, or wash your hands, or do all the stuff you're meant to do, then it's just, it's just ridiculous, you know? And that's what recently we've had in the UK, VE Day. You know, people uh, decided to do their bit. Uh, they decided to have like a garden party out the front of their houses, so they're kind of keeping social distancing. Which was a joke, because people didn't social distance at all. Not on my estate anyway. I saw people go out to their neighbours, sit in the neighbours garden, sit right next to each other, interact. And uh, what I did notice is the day went on, and the more alcohol they consumed, whew, it just didn't exist, social distancing. They were laughing and joking and dancing. And, and I just thought to myself, yeah, I'm all right for having a laugh and a, a joke and a dance and all that. But when you're actually aiding in the spread of the virus, what's the bloody point? You know, you just think, oh man, you just want to kick these people in the head. Or you want to shake them and just think, come on, use your common sense, do this, you know. We're trying to support the NHS. We're trying to do our bit to keep people safe. But no, they want to have a good time and that's it. And it's the same thing. People are selfish. And that's a, that, I think that's the problem in today's society is people don't care about anybody else really. They care about the families, probably friends. But outside of that, if it inconveniences them, they don't care. They really don't care. <clears throat> Because like I say, people are insular, they just look after themselves and that's it. Or them closest to them. But even then, I mean, you see attitudes are just awful really, to be honest with you. They just don't care. Anyway, that's enough of that rant. So yeah, so I thought today I'd come out, do a bit, practice a few bushcraft skills. You know, I haven't been out in a while. And I thought, yeah, I'll do a bit today. The weather's half decent. It's a bit chilly, but uh, it's nice and quiet. That's what I like. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all right out there. And I hope you're doing your bit. Because um, I know a lot of people aren't. But I think people that are into preparedness, I think people that are up to watch these kind of channels, that are a bit more aware of the world itself and how things are and what they need to do. I think usually that prepare, preppers are just are also uh, just they're just more mindful. I think they're a bit, a bit more sharper than most people in most people in the world. I think a lot of preppers prep for the families and also prep for the friends because, like I say, there's pretty big prepper groups out there. People are a lot more aware of what's going on. Anyway, guys, that's enough of that rant. I might rant again in a bit, but I want to set up um, a little firebox stove, do myself a brew and uh, see if I fancy ranting anymore. If not, this will be it. So, all right guys, catch you later.